Hi, I'm Monica. There are hundreds of applications developed with OpenZava, most of which are in production and many of them are quite complex. However, most of these applications are commercial, which means their code is not available to everyone. Fortunately, we have some open source projects that allow us to test OpenZava's functionalities. Today we'll see some of them. By going to the link github.com slash openzava, we can see some open source projects we just mentioned. In the OpenZava repository, we can find two projects, Invoice Demo and OpenZava Test. In Invoice Demo, we have a simple example of an invoicing application, showing some basic functionalities. OpenZava Test is a much more complex example, covering a wide variety of use cases and functionalities. Used as a testing tool for OpenZava, this project provides concrete examples of how the platform can handle more complex and demanding situations in enterprise application development. In OpenZava, we have the code of the OpenZava framework, but that's not what we're interested in seeing today. We can explore the code in this way, moving through the folders and selecting the files we want to see. For example, let's go to the model folder where the entities are mainly located. Selecting any of them will show us the code of that class without the need to download or import the project. If needed, you can download the project in a compressed file format with this way. In code, download zip. It's different when you want to clone the repository, which would be by copying this URL and then using it. We'll see this process later in the video. Returning to the other open source projects. We have Zava Projects, which is an example of a project management application developed with OpenZava. This project illustrates how the platform can be used to create practical and functional solutions for business environments, facilitating collaboration and coordination in projects of any scale. To test this project, you need to have a MySQL database and configure it. This information is explained in the repository description. But if you still have doubts about how to connect to MySQL, you can watch our video tutorial, the link of which you can find in the video description. There's also the code for the course in Spanish and English, covering up to the last lesson of the course. Lastly, there's Zava CRM, a basic example of a small customer relationship management system developed with OpenZava. Let's go to the OpenZava repository. Click on code and copy the repository URL. In OpenZava Studio, open the Git view by clicking here. If you can't find it, you can go to Windows, Perspective, Open Perspective, Other, and select Git. To clone the repository, we select Clone a Git repository. By default the URL that we just copied is already there, if it's not, we paste it in URI. Click Next. Leave only master selected. Next. Directory is where the repository will be saved locally, you can name it whatever you want. Finish. By clicking on the bottom right corner, we can see the download progress. It usually takes a few minutes. Done. The last step is to change the version that the repository has to the latest stable version. Right click on the repository. Switch to Other. In Tags, we scroll down to the end. And select the latest version, in our case, 7.3. Done, the projects in the repository will have the latest code from that version we selected. Let's go to the Java perspective. Right click on the Package Explorer panel and select Import. In Git, select Projects from Git. Double click or press Next. Double click on existing local repository. Double click on the repository we just cloned. Here we don't need to touch anything. Next. 
Here we only leave invoice demo and open Zava test. The rest doesn't need to be selected. Finish. Before starting the open Zava test project, which is what we're interested in seeing, let's do a Maven package and a Maven update. Right click on the project, run as, Maven build. Type package in goals. And check the skip test option. Run. Wait until it says success. Done. For Maven update, right click on the project, Maven, Maven update. Okay. Now we're ready. Within the Open Zava test project, you'll find examples of functionalities in its corresponding package or folder, like actions, annotations, calculators, filters, formatters, among others. You'll also find examples of modules and controllers in source main resources Zava. as well as examples of JSP pages located in the source main web app Zava Editors folder. And even automated tests divided by features and modules. Everything can be helpful when you're trying to implement a similar functionality. Let's start the application from the org.openzava.test.run package. Right-click on Open Zava Test, Run As, Java Application. Copy the link that appears and open it in a browser. Once in the application, we can see on the left all the modules of the project, Many of them already have records so we can directly visualize how the code would be represented. Let's go to invoice of this module or using the default view and table. In detail mode we'll find references, collections, calculators, among other things. You can find the code for this module in the invoice class, located in the org.openzava.test.model package. Example applications allow you to test functionalities and in some cases serve as a guide when you need to add features to your project. If you have any questions about this video, you can ask us on the forum. Bye.